Good evening, I'm Sondra Silly. Welcome to the Adventures of Me on the Metal Mat Show. Good evening, I'm Sondra Silly. What are you wanting? I would like to try some of your Indian cuisine. What do you suggest? What are you wanting? Uh, do you suggest a main or a dessert? All right, I'll try the gulab jamun. I'm liking this evening very much. Tell us about your band called Zodistic. Tell us about your band called Zodistic. All right, we're the most fuck band I've ever heard of in my entire life. We're total fucking shit. And uh, Dave Slave, our bass player, eats his own poo. We know that. I have, I have partaken in the drinking of his urine from his penis. What does it taste like? Uh, urine from Dave Slave's penis. Um, we're the fastest band in the world. Get fucked. And our album is called We Are Death, Fuck You. Fuck You, yeah. How many songs are on it? 25. And are they all really good? No. Or are they all really shit? They're, they're, they're fucked. They're fucked. How, how, how fucked are they? Well, you know Skippy, he goes, yeah. well, that, they're sort of as fucked as that. <laughs> and... Good evening, I'm Sandra Silly. Uh, thank you. time you watched Lost in Space? I watched Lost in Space at Wayne Campbell's place. How long ago? Last night. Which episode Which episode did you watch? I don't get, I'm not telling you which episode I watched. I watched 20 episodes. All of them. Which was your favourite? The one, the one with the green woman? The one where the one where Penny was, was fucking Dr. Smith. She was fucking him? Yeah, Dr. Smith. Penny was having a bit of a go with Dr. Smith. Really hard? But was looking. Was she, was she fucking him real hard? You know, the robot's got pincers like this. He was like, um, like right? That's war. War. See that, see that kind That's Wayne. That's the example of a fucking idiot. I'd like to use the toilet, please. One thing, over there. It's Metallica doing on Today FM. Pick a Are you Pick kidding a boss, me? Man. They're being played in the same set list as fucking Madonna. Get out there and see real metal. It's here in Australia. Australia is the most underrated country in the world for metal. We have the best guitarists on the planet. We have the best drummers on the planet. Get out there and support them. I'm Paris Tanana. Fallen, I'm a writer from the old hot metal magazine under Robin Dorian and Jeremy Schiefel. I'm telling all you old school metal fans that are married with kids that are laying back at home, sitting there going, oh, I used to watch that shit. Get out there, take your kids and have a damn ball. The Australian metal scene is going off. I'm Paris Tanana for Metal Matt, signing off. You're watching the Metal Matt Show. So, group 
ingredient-wise, as you can see, we have one and a half chopped onion, which could be two, um, a couple of carrots, why the hell not, some mushrooms just for the, for the hell of it, lots and lots of frozen peas and, cake, and corn, because that'll fill it right out. Of course, you've got your olive oil. The surprise here is the lentils. That's not just hippie food, it actually works really well filling out a skew. Of course, you can taste it. Up. Rosemary, thyme, um, chopped tomatoes. You don't get the whole ones because you just get a mouthful of that. Not fun for anyone. And we're using chicken stock today despite the fact it's a beef stew. But it really just helps the flavour actually. You know? put beef stock and beef stew, it's just, it's just really beefy. The chicken one's quite salty actually, so that's a bit different. So we want that pot. The biggest one you've got. Now today, I'm using beef. I used to use lamb a lot, but it turns out that actually lamb goes a bit weird and it gets really oily and greasy at the top. And when it cools down, all the fat just sits at the top and beef doesn't seem to do that. So um, it's probably a better go when you're doing a savoury uh, stew like this. So just jam a bit of olive oil in there first, or a little bit more. It's going to soak up everything. I might use too much, I might use not enough. It depends really what school of cooking you come from. When I come from none, so I don't give a shit. And from there, you wait for that to get a little bit hot, then you throw your, you're going to throw the onion in. And we're going to get some of this stuff. That's what it is. I just don't know where I put it. Ah, garlic. If you ignore that burnt plastic smell you get with dirty um, stove tops, go straight to fucking the onion in. There we go. This sort of just caramelizes the onion a little bit, so it doesn't end up coming with this being all. Um, when you, no, when you when you boil it, it just turns out rather tasteless and most of the texture's gone, but if you can caramelize it'll seal most of the flavouring. Again, I could be wrong, but I don't care. This is the best part, because this is going to take a while to cook, and if everyone's already hungry, as soon as you chuck a bit of garlic and onion in a pan and start frying it, the smell gets out. Everyone just automatically just goes, oh shit man, that smells good, I want to eat. And so, just to really annoy everyone initially, you can just sit here and do this for a couple of minutes. Everyone's going to be like, oh my god, what's that? Like, you know, they can't have it for hours. So, that adds suspense. So, what we're doing quickly here is rather. <laughs> Say, Corin, cat, you're embarrassing me. Let's quickly cut it up in a. And it strips like this. Make sure you've washed your hands. Make sure you've got a sharp knife. And from there you want to just simply cube it. And ignore any possibility of peanut jokes. I'll give this a stir first. Right at the time. It doesn't really matter if they're not chucked in exactly the same moment. So they're going to be there for ages anyway. Yeah. And it's, it's, see, we've got all the meat in there now. I don't know if you want to season it yet, but if you want the, the meat to actually have a bit of the top taste, you may as well you get it in there before it seals up. So we're just chucking a bit of thyme in there now. Rosemary, that's the one. You want to be careful with rosemary, it's very powerful. Use a pinch of rock salt, that's what all the wankers use. Alright, we've had that. That's always the other one. Mm -hmm. So this will get this cranked now. So we'll just let that sit for a couple of minutes to all seal up and then chuck everything else in. Yeah, that's all the, the moisture coming out of the meat, which is going to help everything cook over. So we can just really add all our ingredients. So, uh, mushroom. You know it's cooked when the carrots soft, that's about it. Peas and corn, this will fill it the hell out. A bit of stock. Make any joke you want about that. Now you can throw all the juice of these in as well, because most of the water will cook off anyway. So, yeah, that looks great, doesn't it? Ah, this is a saucy one, I think, yeah. 
And to fill that out and get rid of a lot of the moisture, we can use this amount of school shit here. Which is not just relegated to hippies. Believe me, it's very helpful when it comes to cooking. Lentils aren't good for pets. Same goes with rice. I mean, that's how you kill pigeons. And everyone knows that. So, we're going to let this go for a while. Um, if you want, you can add um, you know, tomato paste to get a bit more tomato if you want. And um, for the next two to four hours, you can sit around bludging. Looks like a nice big mush with chunks. You want nice and chunky still. Look at that. That's a, that's a manly meal. I cooked it on high for an hour, so I wanted to get this over quickly. But uh, you cook it on, you know, all mid, mid range to high for, I don't know, about half an hour to get it all really going. Then you can sit it on the lowest, like the heat, you know, the lowest bit for, I don't know how long, much, much, much time you want. It depends how, how long you put it on high for. So I've had it on low for about an hour. Because you can't eat this straight away, because you'll burn all the skin on the inside of your mouth off. You look like that. And it's easy to eat. It's not supposed to look like vomit, but it does. So this is what um, particular um, soup cans want to taste like. So. Yup, I'll give this five stars. <laughs> <laughs> this is bloody awesome. Yeah, stick the candles up your ass. Mmm, food. <laughs>